Revelation 688. From the 28th of November 1938. Earthly Possessions and Self-Love. Spiritual Possession and Charity. A wide field of activity will always be the work in love, you will be able to practice it incessantly, if only your will leans towards the eternal divinity. By the abundance of unkindness among people, you will also recognize how far man's spirit has distanced itself from the God consciousness. How he only ever seeks satisfaction of his. I, and all love of which he is capable is only meant for this I. And from this self-love, always only evil goes out. The addiction to possess everything imaginable for oneself, is the cause for all evils and vices, which then adhere to such a self-loving person. You can already see this in the simple process of the increase of goods. Man will always strive to obtain for himself everything that seems desirable to him and will not shy away from any means of obtaining what violates the commandments of God. He will appropriate illegally or try to harm his fellow man by trickery and deceit. He will not shy away from lying, if it brings him only the slightest advantage. But he will never cultivate love for his fellow man and thus he will lack everything that can bring him closer to the eternal Godhead. In the same measure, however, the activity in true charity will have a beneficial effect. Man will always strive to protect his neighbor from everything that seems disadvantageous to him, and he will always remain in the truth and act according to God's commandments and thus also be allowed to enjoy God's presence at all times by engaging in works of neighborly love. Whoever selflessly does good to his fellow man, his spiritual possessions will increase and earn him an imperishable reward in the hereafter, and only the will of man is needed to be allowed to enjoy the highest delights after bodily death. The lures of the world are the counterweight, and man in his delusion does not recognize the unworthiness of earthly pleasures, but seeks to seize them by all means and his lot in the hereafter is therefore a meager one, joyless, because he will be granted in the same measure as he gave to his fellow men in earthly life. He who loves only himself too much can never attain divine grace, for the Lord will never bless his doings. Only the practice of love for one's neighbor assures him that, he who willingly gives away his possessions, will receive double, and not only earthly, but to an even greater extent spiritually, because love is the highest, and only through love can man redeem himself already on earth. Amen.